Hi guys, you know what it is. Another Halloween look, and if you're new to my channel, I am Slaterella. This is one of 13 looks that I'm doing for the month of October. Let's go ahead and get started on this creepy clown. So I already started off with foundation and powder as well as brows. So what I'm doing here is drawing on with my Wonder Pencil where I want these eye skin flaps to be. And you can always change them if you don't like them later. Then we're going to start off by smoking out the eye. And what do you know? I'm using an orange shadow because would you expect anything else from me? After that, I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow as well and really smoke this out. You don't need to make this look too perfect. You can if you want, but I really wanted to keep it kind of smoky and very messy because it's a creepy clown. I'm going to apply some shimmery white shadow onto my lid to kind of create a little bit of a cut crease, but again, keep it messy. Go ahead and contour our faces with some bronzer no real harsh contouring for this look. Go ahead and warm up our forehead as well as our jawline. As you know your girl needs to glow. Even though we are a creepy clown with blood all over our face, we still need to glow to the gods. After that, we're going to go ahead and apply some liquid latex inside of those triangles that we drew on our face. I'm just using a cheap makeup sponge to do so. Be very careful with this around your eyebrows and around your eyelashes and your eyes. If your eyes are sensitive, I would not recommend doing the ones below it because this will irritate them. And I did about five or six layers of this to create that skin look. You can do more, you can do less, but the more you do, the more effectiveness you have with the skin look. Go ahead and apply a sharp wing, because again, would you expect anything else? This is what my channel is all about, wings and glam. Go ahead and apply some lashes. Yes. Lashes are on, and now we are going to go ahead and peel apart the liquid latex. You don't want this liquid latex to be dry all the way because it will make it a little bit more difficult. So make sure that if you are ripping this, that you do it when it's almost set up, but not all the way. Because then it makes it a lot easier. And then you don't pull the whole thing off, which happens. And if it does, just go ahead and reapply the same triangle, five to six layers. After that, I went ahead and applied some water-activated paint into those holes. That way they kind of got that darker appearance. And then I went ahead and added these teardrops in. I made them red at first, but you'll see I actually went in and made them black later. I applied some clotted blood to that liquid latex to give it that very gory, creepy, nasty look. And then this is when I decided that I wanted to turn those tears that I had uh, painted on into black. So I just added a little bit of black onto that while it was still wet. And it kind of mixed to create this really cool effect. And then I kind of took that and put that all the way across my lower lash line to kind of make it mix with that red clotted blood. Go ahead and apply some black lipstick. If you have any, I do not have any surprisingly. So I just added some water activated paint and then kind of created those creepy little smile lines. And then for the chest, I went ahead and just painted on these stripes. And I wanted it to look very, very creepy and messy. So I didn't actually take my time too much with them. And I really think it got that creepy effect across where it kind of looked messy. Uh, but, you know, you still got that really kind of circusy look to it. Same thing, just a water-activated paint. But that completes this look, you guys. I hope that you're enjoying my 13 looks of Glamoween. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so, so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys.